we have surgeons of all, all ages, all uh, levels of experience come through here to learn new skills. Dr. Barbara Bass is chair of the Department of Surgery at the Methodist Hospital in the Texas Medical Center and executive director of the Methodist Institute for Technology, Innovation and Education, or MITEI. It's a unique resource for the retooling of physicians in practice. But MITEI is also instrumental in research to advance surgical education. We in surgical training are really looking for better ways to measure skill acquisition and better ways to train our surgeons. So Dr. Bass teamed with computer science professor Ioannis Pavlidis, director of the Computational Physiology Lab at the University of Houston, to understand the role of stress on a young surgeon's path to competency. We are detecting what we call sympathetic responses. These are responses manifest repeatedly during stress bouts. Until uh, recently, people used to measure these uh, responses peripherally in uh, places like the fingers. Uh. Pavlidis and his team developed a new method of using thermal imaging on the face to measure physiological stress and quantify a surgeon's performance. The study monitored and analyzed the performance of laparoscopic surgeons, both experienced and novices. And what we found is that the novices obviously didn't perform as well as the experienced mature surgeons. But the most interesting part was that the novices exhibited a lot of stress. And not only that, but as they became stressed, they actually went faster and faster than they really should have. A case of our most advanced technology colliding with our most primitive instincts. The fight or flight syndrome. So there is an urgency to act fast, which is counterproductive because you need to do exactly the opposite. And in fact, committed more errors by virtue of what we hypothesized to be the stress response that sort of urged them on uh, at a pace that really wasn't appropriate for their skill level. Okay, so 140 sec seconds. Suggesting that perhaps training for young surgeons should be at a restricted pace. How can we train them in a way that will allow them to incrementally acquire skill efficiency without um, imposing pace as a, as a metric of success? To me, you're, you're skilled and competent in a procedure when you're no longer stressed about it. You've actually incorporated all of the steps. What we don't have is that global assessment of skill, fluency, and competency. So if, if we could use this as a metric for that, that's a big deal. The research was funded by the National Science Foundation and John F. and Carolyn Bookout Fund. Reporting from the Texas Medical Center, I'm Sean Lindsay.